Hi, I'm Maureen, stylist at Head Game Salon in Portland, Maine, and I am here to show you how to use a diffuser in curly short hair. My model today has short, medium, it could be even extra short, to all the way to a pixie, and the same technique will work for all types of short hair, from the long short to the short short. So first thing, you wanna make sure that the hair is wet and it has been prepared. So for my model, I have cleansed her and moisturized her, and now I'm going to just finish prepping her with products that will help the diffusing. So one is some anti-gravity volume mist that I'm misting lightly all over. This will help to give a little bit of hold and support to the curls. And then a little bit of curl up and shine. This is really important. If you're diffusing curly hair, then you need to have some curl cream. This will encourage the balance of porosity, smooth out any tangles, and also provide some heat protection from the diffuser. So I'm twisting here small pieces of hair into ringlets. So this is accentuating her natural curl pattern. Beautiful. And then the next step is diffusing it. So a diffuser is a blow dry attachment. It looks like a bowl with some fingers in it and it helps to diffuse the air so that it doesn't blast the curls apart. And so to use it, I'm going to have her looking up and I'm gonna actually start from this back section. Does it? And we can recline just a little bit and we're starting from this back section here and then working down essentially i'm setting the curls into the diffuser and then lifting the diffuser up this will actually make the hair look even shorter so if you already have like extra extra short hair it will be very close to your scalp so turning it on you can pretty much use a medium low heat for curly hair because it's healthier for it and just gently putting the diffuser in with the fingers. And you can see that the fingers actually help the curls lift up and dry into a better ringlet shape. You do very little when you're diffusing the hair. You really just set the diffuser in and let it do its magic. I'm allowing my fingers to be near the diffuser because that way I can make sure that the temperature isn't too hot. Because with the diffuser, you are holding it pretty close to the scalp to encourage the curls to come up and shrink up like a slinky. So you wanna make sure that it's not too hot, especially around the ear area. Make sure that your hand is there to protect the ear and then you can just get the diffuser and scrunch the curls right towards the scalp. You can see that the hair is beginning to dry now, lifting up, looking more voluminous. And the ringlets on the bottom, the curls are staying just perfect. They're getting just a little shorter, and that's natural with diffusing. The curls do get a little shorter. It's a great alternative to just letting your curls air dry, especially if it's the winter season and you don't want to go out with cold, wet hair.
for extra height right at the top of the crown, lift right up to 90 degrees and have your fingers in there with the diffuser to help support and lift the hair right up. And then letting it go and you can see how beautiful that curly hair is drying with the diffuser. Finish doing around the back, and then we'll move to the front. The twist technique ensures tighter ringlets. At the same time, it can create a longer time to dry because there's more water held inside the ringlets there. So that's why having a more medium, a lower heat is better for the curls at this point because you are going to be drying it for a little longer time. Remember to protect the ear on the side and lift right up with the fingers of the diffuser. Now there are different styles of diffusers. Some are fingers, some are flat ovals with little holes in them. Some look like long hands with fingers very long and stretched out. So depending on how long your hair is, if it's straight or curly, will depend on what diffuser will be best for you. But for short, curly hair, the diffuser with the fingers is my professional uh, recommendation. Now for a little extra volume at home, you can tip your head upside down. It will give you like a little bit more party hair, we like to call it. So, coming forward then, you just shake your hair out, kind of scrunch a little bit in the front, and just make sure all these little front pieces go right into the diffuser. And this will encourage more volume in the front and also give a little bit more lift to these fine back ringlets. And then you want to kind of squeeze them a little bit to know if they're done. You can also hit the cool button on your blow dryer. This will help you feel if the hair is cold and wet. And if it is, then you can turn it back onto the heat side. But a nice little squeeze and it feels like these are almost done. They look great. Diffusing short curly hair is the best way to get the curls activated and spring up. So now, that looks beautiful. My model can sit up gently and just give a nice little shake out. Excellent. And from this point, We would finish any pieces in the back corners, knowing that we started from the top and worked down to the bottom. 
This makes sure that you're not having wet hair go on to dry hair on the bottom. You want to remember to never rake your fingers through the hair, brush it or comb through it when you're diffusing. That will completely break up the curls. So always having a nice open hand and more kind of scrunching to feel if there's any dampness or almost gently kind of lifting and raking with the fingers. So great. Now the hair has been diffused. Once diffused, you do want to take a moment to go through, kind of fluff it up a little bit. And just like stick your fingers almost underneath towards the scalp, just kind of open it up. Because some of these curls are still very tight. You can if you want to. If you find a big one that's nice and chunky, you can always split it up at this point. You can actually break it up. And because we have our Curl Up and Shine Cream in, it will actually hold and it won't get frizzy. Beautiful. So you'd have the option to change the part, um, put it to the side, keep it down the middle, whatever you want to do. But my name is Maureen Emerson at Head Game Salon in Portland, Maine, and I just showed you how to use the diffuser to dry, short, curly hair. So thank you for watching.